Suddenly, you find yourself trapped by darkness. You took the brown acid, you fool. You cannot breathe. The darkness is tearing the warmth, life, and magic from your body. Pain. Pain. The agony of lungs without air. The burning cold of a body trapped in ice. The terror of helplessness as death approaches. Oh God. Nightmare. You float, cold and lifeless. Oh. Well, that was kind of a... Oh, Jesus. Shake that one off. You gradually wake, shaking off the shreds of dreams that cling to your memory. Okay. Whew. All right, so... That will start to make sense as we go on. We'll kind of put make more sense out of these dreams. But for now... Well, I think the last thing we'll do today... Let's go ahead and check out that monastery. And it's like, oh, the Burgermeister's is gonna... Ugh. Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. Oh, shut up. Stop berating me. I almost broke into your house once, you know. All right, here we go. So let's give this little guy some garlic, and that should shut him up. That didn't do it. That didn't. That didn't. No. That, he that doesn't want garlic. Uh, maybe he wants the garlic candy. That didn't do it. That. Uh. You approach the heck. No, no, don't, don't approach anything. All right, save. See, maybe now that I'm closer to it, let's see if he eats this. It... That didn't... No. Uh... Garlic? That didn't... That did Maybe I gotta get closer. Alright. Let's get close enough until I get warned. Okay, yes, I know it's a bad place. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I gotta get close enough for him to get him the garlic. I guess. That did. That did. Can't do it. feed him. That I can't do anything with it. That did. Can I go? Can I get into the window? The wall is too smooth to climb with your level of skill. I think that means with any level of skill, honestly. You approach. That did. All right. Uh, let's just see if I can pick the lock now with my keys. Maybe I can just kind of get out on from under him fast enough now that I have a lock pick kit. Eh. Uh. No. Okay. So there must be a way that I can get him to eat the garlic. Let's see. Maybe if I just eat the garlic myself, maybe my bad breath. You bite off a bit of one of the garlic. We'll uh, we'll turn him off. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yes, I know. Yeah, bad building, bad building. Blah 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 blah. Dee. Sit down. Okay, pick lock. All right. You one hit on your garlic breath. No, <laughs> damn it. All right, my garlic breath didn't do anything. It did nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. Maybe. Um. Yeah. Let's let's use this dark thing. Maybe he wants this. It looks like him. The hectopus seems somehow calmer as you present the dark one sign. To ah. It. You get the feeling that there's something it wants you to do with the sign. Shove it up your octopusy ass. Yeah, you, Igor, yes, I get it. I know you're concerned for me, buddy, but sit down and relax. Chip away at your block, which is somehow oddly silent in this version of the game. You push the Dark One sign into the indentation on the door. There was an indentation? It fits perfectly. Oh. Okay. Hey, we made it. Nice. Oh, nice and loud. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do we have around here? There's another hexapod over there. It's a six-tentacled, octopus-like creature. I guess you'd call it a hexapod. Unless you like cats, then you might call it a hexapus. A hexapus! Aw, oh, he's cute. What's this? There's something dark in the alcove. Could it be, at last... The fabled black bird for which so many have been searching. Really? Do you think this is actually the real black bird? Do you think it could... Oh, let's go up there and get it. Get it, get it. Climb. The reliefs are... No, no, climb. The reliefs are... There we go. Uh, come on. You're making it. No! Oh. You need to work more on your climbing. Oh, come on, I have a grappling hook for crying out loud. Let's just use that. Watch where you... This is not... Mm, 
No. Okay. What? Be careful. No, I could just cheat and just fetch it down here. Ugh. But I, at least I'm getting good climbing practice. Ugh. You know what? Not even concerned. This is why I learned magic in the first place. Fetch in. Your fetch spell yeah. neatly snags the blackbird, saving you a dangerous balancing act on the ledge. You carefully put the falcon statue away in your pack. So do you think this is actually the real one, or is this like another, uh, another fake one? Let's see. The sculpture of the black falcon brings back memories of your wonderful vacation in Razir. Hmm, what's the one in Spielberg 2 and the one in the bazaar in Tarna? And too bad this one's a plaster imitation. Damn it! You wonder where's the real Blackbird? Who keeps making these imitations and stashing them over the place? It's like a tease to every single thief who ever lived. What is this lump of crap in this cabinet over here? This amazingly lifelike sculpture looks like a cross between a baby troll and a hermit or dervish. It fits the description of a domovoi, except that it's totally dried out and unmoving. Domovoy? Oh no, I remember those from Slavic history class. You can't budge it. If you want to do anything with a sculpt... There's these little dudes who would look, look, look after children, I think, but only kids could see them. I guess they brought good luck or something, but this one's like all dead and everything. You strike a mighty hammer blow at the glass case. It just sort of looks at you through its glass eye. You need to either build up your strength... What are you talking about, glass case? Can I, can I open this case? What is it? This is a fairly attractive, in a Baroque way, display. Well, let's go ahead and make that thing Baroque. Let's see. Let's uh, use my toolkit. Let's see if I can unlock it. You deftly pick the cabinet's simple lock and take the healing potion you find inside. Well, I was hoping for a little bit more, but I'll take it. What about this uh, jug here? A long wooden table attests to a time when this room was used to double as a communal dining room for the monks. I have it? It doesn't budge. Damn. Okay, let's see. But, oh, God! No, no, no. That's funny. The strange six-tentacled creature is moving. It looked like another wall decoration at first. All right, let's not mess with that. Maybe this is the one that wants to eat the garlic. All right, let's save here. Um... Can I talk to him? It doesn't say much. No, no one's... Uh, no, look at him flail. Ow! <laughs> uh, Hector Hexapod had a hunch that hapless hero was his lunch since you brought no better fairy tools to eat you then and there. Okay, well, good to know. So let's give him the garlic and that'll shut him up. But he would look so happily and waggly for a moment. Here you go. Hector the Hexapod happily gorges itself on the garlic. Hector looks much less hungry and perhaps a little less dangerous now. Okay, well, what was he guarding? Why is he guarding the fireplace? It doesn't... You can't get this log holder to move at all. It's solidly set into the... Well, maybe this one that looks like a big gigantic golden penis. There we go. Oh my. There is a cold feeling down here that chills your bones and sets the hairs on the nape of your neck on end. There is a musty odor of mold and mildew mingling with the sickeningly sweet smell of decaying flesh. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Don't add your part, John. This is not really a nightmare. I mean, it's not pleasant, but I mean, I've been in worse places. All right, so let's see. What do we have here? This looks charming. Above the altar is the sign of the Dark One, surrounded by arcane letters. A notch next to the A makes you think that perhaps that is some sort of starting point for the letters. So, it's either Alzuv or Avuzel. Avuzel, really. What kind of name is Avuzel, for crying out loud? All right, what's this book below it? There is a huge book on the altar. The binding looks like stretched Ugh. human skin, with letters and markings written in dried blood. The letters spell out Necrophilicon. That has really that. awful connotations. 
Oh, that's it. Something like the Silmarion for Of the Love of Death. Yeah. Mm. There's something very, very wrong and dangerous about this book. Yeah, it's all about necrophilia, which I'm not sure if I can get behind. All right. Necrophiliacs. All right, let's read it, though. I think this is going to do a lot more harm than good. The huge book on the altar looks fascinating. You could almost swear you saw it uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. Maybe you should have judged this book by its cover. Anyway, the judgment seems to have that you've gone against and they threw the book at you. All right, I had a feeling I saw that one coming. but So there's no way to actually read the book, I guess. All right, well, whatever. Let's leave that alone. What's this little guy? You've seen some pretty ridiculous things in your time, and that's certainly one of them. Hmm. Can I talk to it? I can give it little teeth. It's a really silly-looking statue and clearly of no value. No value? It's also much too heavy to carry around. Yeah, I guess that's true. What's this little thing in here? You see a small statue that matches the description that the chief thief Ooh. gave you. I want it, but I better not touch it. What? What is it? You see? All right, I I want to touch it. I want to see. Can I finish the game as a bug? Let's see. Oh dear, glowing, glowing. Not liking this. You feel a funny tingling sensation, and a slimy one, as you reach out to touch the statue. This is not good. Oh no. Oh, I'm sliding and uh, oh, and I'm a slug. I'm a banana slug. Oh, with a cute little smile and a cool little jerkin. Well, you have to admit that becoming a giant banana slug is one of the more unique situations in your adventuring career. It is also the last as you choke on your own slime. Hey, how come he, the other guy, gets to live as a cockroach and I die immediately by choking on part of my own body? Not quite fair. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get this thing. It must be something I can pick it up with here. Uh, pie pan, no flowers, no bag. Yeah, let's just bag it up. Gonna bag it up. You pick up the statue in the shopping bag, carefully avoiding any contact with your own flesh. Look, it's even in the shape of a little cockroach, and I get turned into a banana slug. That's, doesn't, that's not fair at all. I want to be a cockroach like this guy. We can start like our own cockroach thieves guild. It'd be awesome. All right, all right. Well, at least I got it. Let's see. Desk. Desks are important. Uh, let's see. Look for traps. Uh huh. All right. Come on, give me a heart, dear. Give me a heart. No. Come on, heart me. All right, it's not going to do it. So I need to use this. Oh, there it is. Bam. Good, good, good. You rifle through the Mad Monk's desk and find the diary of Amon... Amon Talado, really? Boy, Adorable. Man. Reading this makes your head hurt. Well, most books do, honestly. However, it does give you some information about the Dark One rituals. It said something about the first ritual being placed within the Mad Monk's tombstone, there to be forever guarded Interesting. by... So I guess this is going to tell me that I need to go out and destroy the um, the dark rituals, kind of like the way Piotr was. And revealed only by the light of a dead child's soul. Wow, that's morbid. The next ritual should be placed in the hollow of the hangman's tree. Hangman's tree. And guarded by the spirit of the dead which remains there. The blood ritual shall be concealed magically within the monastery. And only he who willingly seeks dark visions shall find it. Okay. The mouth ritual shall be placed in the great arch itself, under the dark one's sign. And the heart ritual shall be given to someone named Gregor for safekeeping. Really? Now, there's another After note. After all that, like, magically inserted everything, and it's like, oh, we're going to give the other one to this guy named Greg. In the forest and probably dead. Yet where? Is the heart ritual. Great. All right, so I know where all the rituals are now. That's nice. Is there anything else I can steal in here? Your rifle? Now there's a... Your rifle? No. Now there's... Just that information. But at least now we know. 
Now I'm probably gonna... This must be the cask of Amontillado here. Yes. The huge barrel is labeled Cask of Amontillado. This must be the fabled spirit that provided most of the income and fame of the monastic order here. It is rumored to provide strange and mystical visions to those who taste freely of its contents. Well, I guess that means the blood ritual is mine because I'm going for it. I'm seeking out dark visions. Um, um, um. You tap the huge cask of Amontillado. Talado. This is the strongest stuff you've ever tasted, assuming that you're not an aficionado of dragon's breath. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. You just drink it out of your hands? Is that oh, 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 and down. And dead. Nope. Dark vision time. You are gonna get really sick of seeing this one, because we're gonna screw up a lot. And it's actually really cool, because this is one of the few Quest for Glory games that actually feels like it has immediate and awful stakes. Because this is what happens if you screw up. And no one wants that. Oh god, that thing's horrifying. Man, have you got a headache. Fortunately, the Dark One Rising seems to have been just a vision, not the reality. Yet. Oh! A scroll has formed from the cask's wine droplets. Hooray for magic. What is this? You pick up the roll paper on the floor. It has a symbol of a drop of blood at the top and the inscription, Ritual of Blood. You can't read any of the other writing on it. Okay, so the, uh, I can't read it, but we have the Ritual of Blood, and though we don't quite know what we need it for yet, so we think that we're probably going to continue Piotr's quest to destroy all of the, um, all of the rituals, so that they cannot raise the Dark One, because there's people out there trying to raise the Dark One, need all these rituals to do it, blah 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 blah, so if I have it, that means they don't have it, which is good. Though it looks like it's been down here for many, 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 many moons, so big deal, I guess, but that's the closest thing to a quest I have so far. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, I liked you better as a bug. The Hotel Mortaria. It's a lovely place. Yeah, yeah, talk how you want, you garlic-scented wench.